at a brick cafe in a small cow town on West 4th Avenue. I ran into a cowboy. Oh, a man I wish I knew. He offered me a seat to load off my feeble mind, then we proceeded in conversation and we spoke of friends and time. He spoke of sudden endings, the friends we lost this year. He touched upon mortality as heartfelt thoughts and fears. Without him exactly saying, oh, I caught just what he meant. Thoughts of traveling gypsies and all the years they spent. I knew he was a father of words, rhymes, and such, but I caught a glimpse of passion, a heartfelt, gentle touch. See, these folks, they were his family, a common thread that runs, a woven thread of words and rhymes, so he knew them every one. He caught me without words, but thoughts raced through my head. The thoughts of how we lost J.B. is what I listened to instead. How he called Joelle before she passed, and just what it meant to him. Then I selflessly started thinking of my mortality and end. I had some misconceptions of this cowboy sitting there. Ah, oh, it's funny how you speculate about a man's affairs. Again, I was taught a lesson. One I should have known, for he is just a buckaroo and a long, long ways from home. I know the cowboys are as tough as nails and have that no-quit attitude, but most they have compassion, honest, straight, and true. A fool I now is feeling, see, I know how the rules apply. And I was gently reminded by that look within that cowboy's eyes. I wanted to offer comfort to this newfound thoughtful friend, share some words of wisdom of how it's really not the end. But instead I sat and pondered of the friends that we held true at a brick cafe in a small cow town on West 4th Avenue.